So I'm going to tell you what's happening. Wait, I'm going to get in the seat because this is going to start moving in a second. I'm in the trailer right now. We're still at our spot. o'clock in the afternoon and the situation here is um, you're supposed to pull out by two o'clock it's only one o'clock but the res there's the area that we're, we're in is a reservation spot and somebody reserved the spot even though we wanted to spay an extra day but we didn't reserve the spot so now we have to move to another spot there's two spots at the top of the hill that are spots for f it's first come first served it's one o'clock we could stay here till two but the problem is that you see everything's moving so I'm sitting in the in the trailer because um, everything is moving oh I gotta make sure this door is locked doesn't pop open okay you can see that we're moving I'm in the trailer right now see that we're going really slow so there's two spots up at the top of the hill that are electric and you don't need to reserve it so if you go to a reserve site after somebody leaves you have to be able um, you can only stay for one night so we have to move in there so we're going in there before two o'clock because the people pulled out and we're afraid that if we wait till two o'clock somebody might come in and actually take the spot and then we're not going to be able to get the spot we're going to have to go to a boondocking spot which is okay with us I mean for four dollars more we have the comfort and convenience of actually having uh, running water and running a you know AC all the time and um, we're closer to the main part of the area here of the park that we want to stay in. and the reason I'm in the trailer and not in the car is because um, you know we don't we didn't pick up our stuff like we usually stuff like all this stuff on the counter that you see here I usually put that stuff away when we're traveling down the road and this I don't leave here standing here in case something moves around um, then I'm gonna go over there and make sure that it doesn't fly off the counter. So Mike's making the turn now around the bend and he's gonna make a really wide turn. Um, ooh, oh my gosh, wow, that's gonna fall. I better get that. That is, whoa. Yeah, trailers are a lot squeakier than motorhomes. I mean, I don't, I know, I'm, I've actually done a really good job. I mean, for a lot of you that were questioning me about those measuring cups that I did a video on and I'll post it below, if they rattle, gosh, they don't rattle at all. That's awesome. There's nothing rattling right now under than the trailer, the squeaking underneath of the trailer. That's pretty much it. This is really, really nice. When I was in my motorhome, everything used to like plates and everything like that. So I've, I've got it down to a science where my plates and my stuff don't rattle that's really cool really cool because when i started RVing, man everything i would drive be driving on the road and everything would be rattling but but i guess i've learned over the years oh we're already in their spot see that white truck over there that's the park ranger he's all he's here all the time there's a different guy today he's the state of new mexico and they have a loyalty system here with the payments. What you do is you take a paper and you put either a check or a payment inside. I'll show you what the loyalty system is for payment here. So this is the loyalty system. And what you need to do is you need to fill this in and you can put in cash or a check. White copy you display on your vehicle and the yellow copy on camper trailer door. And then the pink is where you put the money in. Okay guys, so I want to show you how to fill out the loyalty system in New Mexico for these parks because when we got here, this, is the, this was very confusing. We didn't know what we were doing and it seems a little confusing, but actually after you've done it, it actually makes sense. And you're going to pull out one of these cards from the front where the board is and it tells you about the fees there. You're going to pull out one of these little papers and it comes in three different parts. And it's a carbon copy. So you're going to fill it in and it's going to go through to the other side. So it's going to have the information here. That's my license plate. Here's the date that we're camping and the site. It's $14. I have marked here overnight camping and I have marked here uh, where my finger is that it's Sunday. Okay, so you have the white copy, the yellow copy, and the pink copy. And then my check, since I don't have exact change, I am going to enclose a check because they do allow that in the payment. 
so I'm this check is gonna go in the box and then this white copy goes on the dashboard of your vehicle so they can see that you've paid and then this yellow copy goes on your trailer on the window of your trailer because if you were to leave for the day and you're gonna leave your trailer or your motorhome or whatever here they need to see that there's a sticker on there so we didn't do that yesterday but because we're, we haven't unhitched we're, we're not going to be unhitching but other people have they've actually hitched their boats and then taken it down to the dock so that's what it's for so then after you're done making your payment it down here on the bottom down here where the sticky is you're going to open it up and there's an envelope and you're going to put your check or your cash down in here and then after i put my payment in i go ahead and fold it like that and then it's going to stick so first I'm going to put the white one on my vehicle. You're going to take off the tab that's on the top and you're going to stick it on the window like that. So that's my sticker. This is the map. You're going to come here. It's going to have all your um, payments. So and you're going to come here and you're going to get your day permit. So this is where you would get the little card for paying. So I've already showed you how to fill that in and then your payments are going to go in here. So what I do is I just just throw that in there and that's it. Simple, simple, really easy. When you first get to a campground and you don't know how to do it, it's very confusing. So now we know better. And then you have the yellow copy that's left hanging on the window or something like that, like right there. So if we were pulling out in the car, there would be definitely a copy on your trailer or your motorhome so that you know that you've, you've paid for the day. Hey guys, we are now in off-grid, self-reliant RV. Subscribe to watch us on the road as we put this RV to the self-sustainable test. And don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoy the efforts we are putting out. As always, thanks for watching.